Beams and frames are essential components of most structural systems. The function of a frame is to hold the entire structure in place and to safely transfer the applied loads to the foundation of the system. For example, this frame was designed to hold the railroad in place and to transfer the load imposed by the passing train to the foundation of the structure. To be sure, the structural engineer needs to be intimately familiar with the theory behind frame analysis. However, Given the complexity of the procedure when done using hand calculations, frame analysis is often time-consuming and subject to human error. Therefore, software programs, when used mindfully, become practical tools for analyzing and designing frames and other types of structural systems. In this video, we present iFrame, an application program for two-dimensional analysis of beams and frames using the matrix displacement method. iFrame has been developed with students in mind. This interactive program can analyze indeterminate beams and frames, and it is capable of displaying some of the key computational details of the analysis method being employed. This presentation is divided into two parts. First, I will provide an overview of iFrame. More specifically, I will show how to use the program to model and analyze a frame. Then, I will explain how you can download and install it for educational use. As you can see, the application program has been organized around several tabs for modeling a frame and viewing the results of the analysis. Let's go ahead and use iFrame to analyze this structure. The frame consists of four nodes, numbered 1 through 4, and three members. The structure rests on two pin supports, and there is a concentrated load of 2,000 kilonewtons applied at the center of the horizontal member between nodes 2 and 3. For the sake of simplicity and clarity, Let's assume that all three members share the same material and section properties. Using the Nodes tab, we can define the geometry of the frame by specifying its node coordinates. The number of nodes and the position of each node are entered in the data fields provided here. Using the Members tab, we can define the position of each frame member by specifying its end node numbers in the provided input fields. Similarly, the position and type of each support can be specified using the Supports tab, as shown here. Under the Loads tab, we can define two types of applied loads, nodal loads and member loads. In this example, the frame is subjected to a member load only. As you can see, we can enter the location, type, and magnitude of the load in these fields. Finally, we enter the material and section properties of the frame members using the Properties tab. Once the frame modeling is completed, we can view the results of the analysis using these three tabs. The Displacement tab can be used to examine the nodal displacement values and visualize the deformed shape of the structure. The Reactions tab can be used to examine the support reactions. And the Member Forces tab shows the member end forces and the shear and moment diagrams for each frame member. For example, here we see the forces and diagrams for the horizontal member located between nodes 2 and 3. One of the unique features of iFrame is its ability to show key computational details of the performed analysis. This is done using the Report tab. Here we can generate a report that shows the individual member stiffness matrices, the system stiffness matrix, the system force vector, and the details of calculating the member end forces. This feature of iFrame is particularly useful for students who wish to examine and better understand the steps that underlie the matrix displacement method. 
iFrame has been developed using the Node.js and Electron.js software platforms. It can be installed and run on any desktop or laptop computer under Windows operating system. You may download the installation file named iframe-install.exe from our GitHub site listed here. Once you download the executable file, you can run it to install iframe on your computer. The application program does not have any dependencies and has a fast load and run cycles. If you are viewing this video on YouTube, feel free to post your questions or comments concerning iframe below.